Yo, yo, what up guys? Uh, sorry you guys didn't get a video last week. I was in the process of making one. Couldn't finish it. Finishing it this week, so you guys will have it next week. So I figured I'd make something for this week. At least have one video out. There isn't too much going on. It's cold. There's no shows. There's no racing. There's a whole lot of nothing. And we got like this huge snowstorm on the way this weekend, which I hope we get. Really looking forward to getting this car out and getting some donut videos. But as you can see in the title, we got a new mod for the car. Probably just going to make me slower. We got a car seat. <laughs> uh, kind of a dumb video. But we'll get some cool clips in here, I promise. But uh, for anyone wondering if this fits in the car, um, I'll show you. So we got a base for her car, or one of her cars, and then I already have the base in the S3. Real easy, just clips right into the things. I'll show you. Let's take this outside real quick. Show you how this fits. I got it like this uh, for Christmas. I think she got it for me, like a stocking stuffer. Um, it's like this matting that sits on my seats so that the base and this doesn't like uh, ruin the leather. So it like keeps it from wrinkling up and stuff. So that's pretty neat. Very thoughtful. She knew that I uh, was very skeptical about putting one of these in my car, even though I have to regardless, but it was still like, eh. So just weird for me in general like okay yep yeah, about to have a baby it's uh i got like barely any room in the garage with both the cars but it's like the door clearance is not uh not ideal what are you doing guy right, the boys haven't been on in a minute say hi boy ah, 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 ah. that didn't mean come outside get back in get get back back it up back it up sir apex let me say hi no okay you just don't listen jay-z boy sit Ah, ah, ah. Say hi. Okay, let's go put this in the car. Mommy's gonna be here soon. All right, so this thing's pretty neat the way it works. Literally just comes on in. Mind you guys, I'm all new to this. I'm almost 30 years old. This is my first baby. Uh, so it should just like, there we go. Boom, clips right in. It's pretty neat. Then they're nice and sturdy. You can see like, wow, these little things, they just flip right up. And they, they just clip down in there and then this nice matting goes all the way down it's got like a little thing down here that you can store stuff in and then uh, to get it out and just grab up here somewhere yep you gotta grab really hard and this thing pops on out it's pretty neat how oh, it works i dig it i believe the brand is Graco. i believe yeah so it's got like this little center section this like puts extra tension on the on the belts. Well, they just clip right into these little spots here, and like uh, on the golf, these got removed, but these just like slide back, which is really neat. I think that's very cool of them. Like I said, this got like a little net down here to hold stuff, and then this, yeah, this is like kind of hard, and has like some leather spots, and this clips on back behind here. That's pretty neat. Oh look, she's home. All right, into the cockpit we go. Seat back. Oh, I didn't get all the dog hair off me. Man, I love this thing. What's up, dude? All right, we're gonna go over to the beach. I'm gonna get a time lapse on my phone. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, I'm trying to sell some stuff. So if anybody wants some harnesses, I got some harnesses right there, these Schroth racing harnesses. Please hit me up. I'd really like these to get gone um, so I can buy the steering wheel. I already made a custom steering wheel. It's super nice. I'm going to get in the white stripe here and white stitching, you know, everywhere. It's going to have the same uh, style airbag would have like white stitching on it and all this is black. This is black and it's flat bottom. It has like perforated it's bigger stuff here and it's a little bit thicker on the smooth leather seriously gorgeous and i can get like the start button and mode button here if i wanted to like the r8 but i need to sell this stuff so i can get it um yeah let's go to the beach so i ordered multiple things for this car just everything is out of stock 
Racing Line keeps teasing me every day with posts about this, that, and the third. You can't even get their stuff in the United States right now. Like, all their stuff is just for the UK. It's very upsetting because I want that inlet. I want that hose. I want the oil cap. I want some, like, you know, outside body stuff. When I was really thinking, if you guys look at the new RS3, like this body style RS3, the, the front fenders are wider and there's like a gap between like the door and the, the fender, like there's a gap, like a little slick, so you, you can like tell that it kind of looks like a, a wide body, which I mean, it kind of is. And I'm wondering if those fenders will just, which they should, they should just straight up bolt onto this car. So I think that's something I'm gonna, gonna look into. If I can order them with paint already, like paint matched, I probably will get them. Do y'all drive around, y'all DSG people, do y'all drive around in S mode all the time? I feel like, I mean, S mode's so much better, especially like from a stop, because you know, you're already like up a gear basically, that's what it feels like. It's so much peppier, but I feel like I don't, I shouldn't be in S mode until the engine's warmed up. I don't know, let me know how you guys do it. You guys just keep it in S mode all the time? Because I always switch it back. Definitely helps with gas mileage too, I'd assume. Cause like, this is S mode where idle is, and then put it back in the D, it goes down. Not that I care that much about gas mileage, but I usually just drive this to work and back, at least for now. And then like the downshifts in S mode too. Like it really tries to I didn't really do it that time. Of course, when I'm recording. Also, shout out to uh, Sean over at It's Not Stock. He's the man. Hooking this car up left and right. Let's not hit this pedestrian. Okay, okay. Check that out. With the way the sun is right now, you can kind of see. It's so hard on the white. Unless you see it in person, how like wide this section gets, how it pops out here. And then like on the RS3, it's even wider and there's like a gap along here. It's just like, I don't know, maybe five or 10 mil wider on the front fender, which is really neat. Wish my car was clean. My car is filthy. I was thinking about washing it this week, but we're supposed to get this horrible snowstorm. Oh yeah, that's a good shot. What's up? Well, that's an even better shot, right? Yeah, I like that. Let me get some pictures. All right, I got a, actually a couple really cool clips. Now as much, I am not a TikTok kind of guy. I freaking, the whole app and how, it's the Chinese government owns that app and how they, they do more people tracking and all that stuff and that app more than any other app. So I refuse to use TikTok, but I do like the Instagram TikTok stuff because it's all cars and not stupid, stupid stuff. I just. The stuff that she sees that I see that she watches on there is just ridiculous, but it did inspire me to kind of get some more artsy type clips and how good an iPhone can do it is just crazy. So I just tried some out here with the lighting and you know, it's, it's gorgeous out here. It's beautiful. Um, with the sun setting right over here, it's really nice with the car. Um, you guys just check out my Instagram, see some of the clips. Um, BR32 YCE. That's me. But, uh, I'm getting a little time lapse right now. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I thought it would be cool to have. I really wish there was more to it. Maybe I'll do another one in like landscape, but we'll see how this turns out. It should be something neat. Well, I got some pretty sweet pictures and some pretty sweet clips on my phone. It's actually like so relaxing out here. It's just so beautiful and peaceful. I just realized there's a, uh, no trespassing <laughs> sign here. Whoops. Now there's like benches and stuff all along here. I guess this this little dock portion is somebody's. It's so nice here, especially when it's warm. It's like 40 something degrees out. I'm, I'm kind of cold. People staring at me like I'm crazy. Probably because I am. Chatting to some cameras <laughs> on some random street that I don't even live on. Mm. It's life. All right, well let's cruise down the road and do a launch control or something. What's crazy to me is tomorrow, the 19th, we are 38 weeks pregnant. 
or I should say she is, we are, whatever we want to call it. Um, so within like the next two weeks, like my entire life is going to change. I want to, I talked about this, probably ran a bit about it in the last video. It just blows my mind. Like, I don't know. People say, you know, I believe in aliens. There's got to be other, other life out there. But I think, you know, we are the aliens to this planet after learning about the things that the mother's go, the rib cage expands and the pelvis move in and the, you know, creating milk out of thin air and all this crazy stuff. You know, like a baby's head has like plates in it. So when you're pushing the baby out, like its skull actually moves. And when a baby's head comes out, it looks like a literal alien. Like the head is all like elongated because these plates in the head move to help get it through the birth canal. And then soon after the baby's out, like the head will actually take form and then the, the plates will become like solid. That's so why you'll see like some people have pointy heads and stuff or like smushed just because they laid too much on their head, like on, on, on like a harder surface or something. Like all these different things, it just blows my mind learning about, like I'll have a little mini, half of me, half of her, like this little baby that's mine. Like that's crazy to even just think about like me having a child. Like who, who let that happen? Who signed those papers to let me bring a, a child into this world? I'm crazy. Shit. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be wild. But we're already talking about getting four wheelers and freaking jet skis and like all this. You know, we live right by the beach. So I guess four wheelers, maybe not so much, but at least like, you know, taking her to the beach and doing, you know, water sports and sports in general and teaching her thing, like all that knowledge that I have to pass on. And that's just me. I mean, her mother has, I mean, she's smart as hell. There's so much, it just blows my mind. So many things. It is so freaking bright out right now. You guys see that? Let me show you. I can barely see a damn thing. Like the brake lights are on in front of me and I can barely see that. That is ridiculous. Well boys, I thought I'd find another spot. Took that road all the way down, took me all the way down to someone's private driveway where they have all this beachfront and like actual sand and stuff. It's actually really, really neat. I wonder how much those damn houses go for. <laughs> maybe, maybe one day. As promised, I'm going to get you guys a launch control once this traffic goes by. And that'll be the closing to my video. Hope you guys like my new mod. <laughs> and my baby mod coming soon. So, coming up. I mean, hopefully these parts show up soon. You know, you know pandemic, this side, the third. And I'll be turning out videos as soon as they come. I still need to make time to get that subframe in. But that's, uh... I got plenty of time before that. I just want that in before spring. Really, I want to do an autocross event before I put it in and then put it in, feel the difference, yada, yada, yada. But we'll see how that goes. I'm in no rush to get that in. If anybody needs a rear end, a Haldex, uh, axles, I got one. Already UM tuned. Let me know. I'll put it on the pallet, ship it to you. I got a transmission to try and ship out this weekend. Um, yeah, as soon as these cars pass. Okay, I think we're good. I think we just sat here and heat, heat soaked the shit out of the car. Oh, we got traffic. Dang, I didn't even engage launch control. I'm dumb. Hopefully this ain't a cop behind me. Huh? That'd be pretty funny if it was. Okay, redo. The mailman down here probably thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> Woo! Man, launch control a day keeps the doctor away. Isn't that what they say? Anyway, that all kind of rhyme. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the flip flop. Before I let y'all go, totally. Um, one thing about this compared to the golf, the throttle response, especially like higher RPMs and boost type like response, like pedal movement, you know, going is so much better on this. Like it's going to be really nice for control and those types of events that you need, you know, that precise throttle control. 
um, and especially with because like the D the diverter valve or the blow off valve, whatever you want to call it, it's a diverter valve. Um, it's on the throttle body rather than on the, the turbo. At the next light, turn so, right. Like the, I guess that makes the throttle response a lot better with, you know, off throttle and like the transient response. It's just crazy. It's so good. Like really, really, really good. I love it. And video. We're